Time to get back to work. Oh, Lucas, don't do anything stupid. I know what I'm doing. I think so. At any rate, there's no going back. Just be careful. So, Lucas, watch out! Yes. Oh, look at the ball. What? Louis ran inside. Come on! Truth will flow out of the mouth. Come on! Give me your purest alcohol. Voila! The door of the sun. The flame of the carrier. Demetia, take me back! Right away! about then please after you Lucas you did it we did it Laurentius would be proud of you I'm proud of you <sighs> thank you at least we know for certain now if the elixir is linked to the rats, that means there's a link to the carrier. Yes, but first things first. We have to save Hugo. Alchemist has worked wonders. <laughs> we have the elixir. I <laughs> always knew you were a good uh, one. Thanks. Come on. Let's go see Hugo. Hugo, you're not sleeping? Hey, look. We did it. The elixir! Lucas made it! Here you go. It might be a little bitter. Never mind. Drink it in one gulp. Very good. So, am I cured now? Um, well... In any case, you'll soon be a lot better. Misia. Will we never see Mommy again? Oh, Hugo. I told you. She... she won't be coming back. No. And it... and it doesn't hurt where she is? No, no, of course not. Let's all go to bed now, eh? And tomorrow, when you wake up, you'll feel a lot better. You'll see. Not true, he was in front of the line. <laughs> You're just rubbish. <laughs> oh, you two are arguing again. Ugh, if you don't play by the rules. You're gonna tell me Hugo, about rules. I keep telling <laughs> Have you. Have you seen Hugo? Hugo! Hey! Hugo! Where are you, kid? 
Hugo! Hugo! Oh no. He's gone. Gently now. Don't stop. Go on. Hugo! Where can he have gone? Think, Amicia. Think. Is that a, a, a village? Here? Clavi? Is, is, is that you? Have you seen Hugo? Did you shout at him again? No, absolutely not. Times are hard enough already without you two arguing. But we weren't arguing anymore. Amicia, a child never runs away without a reason. Open the door. I'm going to find him. All right, but be careful. An ill wind is on its way, Amicia. What is that? What is going on? Amicia, I've been waiting for you. Come with me. Laurentius? Is that really you? Where is Hugo? He... he's gone. <sighs> I knew this would happen. I did take care of him. Then why did he leave? I don't know. I I did everything I could to protect him. Even horrible things. It is easy to spill blood, but to love, to protect. I'm going to find him. Then go and pray there is still time. Mommy, I hear a noise outside. Hugo, that's him. Mother? Amicia, come here. Yes, Mother. Your brother's here. How is he? If he's back, it's because he's not very well. But I did everything. You hid the truth from him. But... His emotions, Amicia. I warned you. Let me see him. He doesn't want to see you. Who are you talking to, Mommy? I have to see him. He doesn't need you anymore. That's a lie! <sighs> Go on, then. See for yourself. Hugo, are you all right? No. What's the matter? Why did you leave? Why didn't you tell me Mommy was alive? It was for your own good, Hugo. That's not true. You didn't want me to know. Don't say that. You're jealous. Jealous. Let go of me. Hugo, no! Here, 
Everything's all right, Hugo. It's over. Hey, are you all right? They didn't hurt you, did they? No. But why did you go off like that? I heard Mummy. She was calling me. It must have been a nightmare, that's all. I really thought it was her. She was in pain, and... She can't feel pain where she is now. We talked about this. But... She's gone, Hugo. You have to accept it. Let's go back. All right. We must get back to the castle. <coughs> Mommy! Amicia, it's Mommy! What? <coughs> it's coming from over there! We have to go! No, you're not going! But why? Let go of me! Hugo! I'm coming, Mommy! Come back! It is done. Can I go and see my mother now? Only the Grand Inquisitor may say. But you told me. My words are of no importance. Only those of the Grand Inquisitor. But be sure, you are very precious to him indeed. been on Episangra's duty. When's it gonna end, eh? Soon. The hour of the approaches. But think of Vitalis. Your ordeal is nothing compared to his. Breaking you, I clear your way. 
The way to the blood of the Chosen One. Today's refining gone. The quality is excellent, but the mass of raw epistanglis is decreasing. Our harvesters are being decimated by the rats. Do your best. The life of the Grand Inquisitor depends on the quality of the distillate. of the Grand Inquisitor is overwhelmed by the bite. I fear it will now attack his mind. Don't worry. The boy's blood will restore the power's equilibrium. May his soul emerge unscathed. Ad ignem. Ad lucem. is thickening. It will soon be necessary to change the filters and scrape the tanks. Almost reached the objective. I hope so, because that's all we'll be able to produce. It is already a miracle that Vitali's body can take such quantities of episanguis. His faith protects him. It protects us all. Hey! Not afraid! Not afraid! In the city during the conjuration. You on the list? Yeah. I'll be on the square in front of the cathedral. Oh, so you'll be right next to the Grand Inquisitor when he frees us. And I'll be stuck here. We'll all meet again afterwards. At the end of the bite. It's going to be quite a party. Inquisitor is very busy. Busy? 
I am the Archbishop. I represent the Pope. Monsignor, the mission of the Grand Inquisitor is sacred. His mission was never approved by the Church. I see here only heresy and occultism. And you, you all follow him on this infernal road. Measure your words, Excellency. Your rank should make you more cautious. <sighs> Madness. Don't listen to them. The most important thing is mommy. Magister, the text clearly mentions the ascension of a child during the Great Plague of Justinian. I knew it. The Roman nobles isolated him from the people and worshipped him in secret. Maybe an ancestor of Hugo de Rune. Continue. They're talking about me. By freeing the country from the bite, the Grand Inquisitor will gain the adoration of the people, and with it, unprecedented uh, unity. The Prima Macula, on the cusp of the first threshold, devours the lost carrier, or walks beside the one who tames it, master or slave, order or chaos. <sighs> but how can we be sure? Beatrice de Rune's research texts are all coded. I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. About time. Mommy. Grand Inquisitor, the Archbishop has arrived. Perfect. Bring him in. Vitalis. Monseigneur Gautier, I trust your journey went well. Now spare me your niceties. 
We grow tired of your little game, Vitalis. A game, Archbishop? <laughs> Can a game change the future of the world? Listen to yourself. You have completely lost your mind. And all this is... Uh, if I may, it's important. We have the blood of Hugo de Rune. Have you tested it? Yes. A alas, Monseigneur. The boy should have reached the first threshold already, but it seems something in his blood has slowed the process. The macula is still in its original state. No matter. If the books are correct, my blood and his will be bound. When he reaches the next threshold, I shall reach it with him. That's enough. You play the martyr. But allow me to tell you the truth. You are a vile heretic driven mad by power. The Pope considers you a threat. Vitalis Benevon. You are to be excommunicated. One can excommunicate a man, Archbishop. <laughs> but not a saint. Your inquisition is over. Meaning that a new era commences. One where puppets such as yourself will kneel and beg me to save them. with us. Very good. Go and see whether Beatrice Doreen has regained consciousness. He's scary, but I have to follow him. Why does she keep resisting like that? We have the same goal. We both fight the plague. Only our methods differ. Her daughter is making the same error. <sighs> Stupid. Attention! But the brother, he is unique. He might understand. Unique? I'm unique. At ease. Ad ignem. Ad lucem, sir. So, you saw the Grand Inquisitor? Yes. The blood of the carrier flows through his veins. The conjuration will take place. Splendid. The end of the plague is nigh. Indeed. But do not lower your guard. Huh? What's that? Congratulations on capturing the child. We've been after him for weeks. And then he simply turns up here asking to see his mother. Huh. <laughs> it seems he has a sense of humor. That he won't be keeping for long. I have to go and see his mother myself. What's he going to do with her? Thank you. 
guy. I can see this guy. Nicholas, congratulations on capturing the child. We've been after him for weeks, and then he simply turns up here asking to see his mother. Huh. Uh, seems he has a sense of humor that he won't be keeping for long. I have to go and see his mother myself. What's he going to do with her? Captain, uh, I was told that the carrier of the macula is here. Is that right? The child turned himself in this morning. Apparently there was a disagreement with his sister. Ah, he's still a kid, it's true. Hard to believe he's gonna save us all. If everything goes to plan. We'll make sure it does. As I was telling you, this guard was devoured, but not completely. His bones were cut up and taken away by the rats. For what purpose? To incorporate them into that material we find everywhere. You mean their nests? They use our dead to build their nests. Precisely. And if we do nothing, at the rate the dead are accumulating, the nests will eventually join together to form one giant nest. Just a matter of time. Uh, and his rats. Uh, tell me. Why can't I? Where is he? I won't find them without. We have to transport them. You have nothing to fear from them. Meticulous crossbreeding and a little alchemy has tempered their instincts. Not to mention a radical change of diet. <sighs> Good. Hey, kid. <gasps> Help me. No. Help me. What's wrong with him now? Hey, no. die quietly. We're trying to work here. I'd rather he wait in the Rats prefer fresh meat. Damn you. You'll all go to hell. You and your fucking rats. Not an end, for your blood shall nourish a new race of angels. <sighs> they shall be your children, your pride. It's horrible. It's him. It's going to get mommy. Uh. Son with a knife to his throat. 
saw Lord Nicholas go past. That Darun woman is gonna suffer, I'd say. Uh, serves her right. Uh, such an educated woman. She should have joined our side. Oh, no. She's way too stubborn. But no match for our torture. She must be near here. Here, your carcass can still be of value to our alchemists. Think yourself lucky. Oh, bastard! Hey, kid, what the hell are you doing here? Torturer will take care of you. You'll soon have your voice back. Mark my words. Oh no, he's coming back. Hide. Darling, you must go if they find you here. No, I'm staying with you. Oh, Hugo. Did they take your blood? Oh my god. All right, Hugo. We'll go together. But you have to find the keys. They must keep them in the room at the end of the corridor. Can you make it there? Off you go then. Go. Be very careful. Come back as soon as you have the keys. When I return, I want everything prepared and ready to begin. Do you understand? Yes, Lord Nicholas. All right, you heard him. Everything will be ready. The alchemist will talk. I'm going to enjoy it. Just do your job. The captain of the guard doesn't appreciate improvisation, and neither do I. Yes, of course. Let me know when you're ready. I have to meet the key. Right. This might get me a promotion. Authority, selves. The torture right has then. to be efficient. That Darun woman has this young real lady. So soft. Anyway, the knives are sharpened. Hammer, pliers, vibrant saw, everything. Have I forgotten anything? <laughs> With the captain around, I double check. Oh, you miss you was here. No. 
afraid of rats. If I can just free them. Yes. Lanterns. does it say? It says it wants me to join it. The first threshold. Tommy, I'm scared. We'll never get out of here. We don't have a choice. If I am with you, the voice, are you ready to reply? Hugo, can you hear them? Yes. Do you have the same voice? The one that makes my head hurt? Don't try to ignore it. Embrace it completely. Don't be afraid. Yes. You answered it. Let's get going. Ah, ah. Those screams. They must have let rats loose on the prisoners again. Come on. Find this document and get out of here. A cat. We'll make him leave. Use the rats. Will 
they eat him? No, there aren't enough of them. Come on. <laughs> Run, you big coward. You're scared, aren't you? Oh, Hugo, this is not a game. This power is dangerous. You have to control yourself. Yes, Mommy. So, that's my disease. You're not sick, Hugo. It's a... It's a gift. I'll explain later. A gift? Ah! You found her! Oh. Oh, maybe I'm going crazy. are in a terrible state. How are we going to deliver this? All we need now is to lose one of these cages. Be careful. What does it say? It says it wants me to join it. The first threshold. Tommy, I'm scared. We'll never get out of here. We don't have a choice. If I am with you, the voice, are you ready to reply? Hugo, can you hear them? Mm, yes. They all have the same voice. The one that makes my head hurt. Don't try to ignore it. Embrace it completely. Don't be afraid. Yes. Oh, <laughs> 
everything is all right. Now, you're going to tell them to move so we can get out. Go on, but stay focused, or they'll become dangerous again. It, it's working. Well done. You see, my headache's gone. It was the macula, but you answered it. Let's get going. Loose on the prisoners again. Come on, find this document and get out of here. A cat. We'll make him leave. Use the rats. Will they eat him? No, there aren't enough of them. Come on. <laughs> Run, you big coward. You're scared, aren't you? Oh, Hugo, this is not a game. This power is dangerous. You have to control yourself. Yes, mommy. So, that's my disease. You're not sick, Hugo. It's a... it's a gift. I'll explain later. A gift? Ah! Oh, you found her! Oh. oh, maybe I'm going crazy. are in a terrible state. How are we going to deliver this? All we need now is to lose one of these cages. 